Welcome to part 29, and we interrupt this playthrough with a phone call, call from Sweet. Sweet. What's going on, man? As we, you may or may not have guessed in part 27, we you all right? got no. thrown in the angel pine, and he I'm trying, got arrested. Gotta make sure Kendall's He's safe in jail. Right, and we we'll stay in jail Don't worry, until, bro. I ain't gonna leave well, you later on in the game. I definitely suggest that uh, at any point during the game that you want to take the time to hang out in your vehicle after certain successful missions in the areas of commentary of the music orders that doesn't have to um, get their version of what actually happened. In this yeah, it, it, it's it's beyond backwards. And speaking of beyond backwards, we're gonna be driving to Dillmore and these are some long country bumpkin roads. I'm not kidding. Whetstone, Red County, uh, Flint County, these are some long, long roads. They're not in one confined area like Los Santos. Well, uh... At least Los Santos, the, everything pretty much happened on the road street, so it wasn't very, very far from this is the type of road that you can do on the road street because it was only like six blocks and everything happened on the road street. But now you have the travel portion of this particular point without the first. Uh, <laughs> Can I not go an episode without wiping out? I was just about to say <laughs> improve your driving skills. Uh, once you improve your driving skills, then you want to be able to, to go out and uh, do some venture and find you some good driving gear. Um, whatever it is, because it's going to be long and boring. Oh, and speaking of long and boring, sort of long and boring. Throughout the entirety of our stay here in Whetstone, Flint County, and Redstone, I mean, Red County, sorry, most of the radio stations will be playing k -Rose. Yes, so you, like I said before, you want to find a radio station that sues you, uh, regardless of the genre of music that you listen to, you want to find something that will entertain you, that will keep you uh, upbeat with the fact that you have these long, exhausting, and tiring um, journeys that you have to go through. And it is a long, exhausted, and tiring journey. I mean, look at how long I have to go to freaking Dillmore. I mean, right now you're you're watching him um, scroll through the map and locate the the position he's trying to get to. And I jump cut. <laughs> wow. Yes, I jump cut because it was too long of a distance, and I also got ran over. Not to mention, I bought some properties on the way here just in case something bad happens to this mission. I kind of would have kind of got back on my bike and continued driving, but jump cut, go for it. You yeah, you're talking you about 30 minutes of actually going to Dillmore. Oh. Which is why I said find some decent music to play. What the fuck do you want? Nothing. Yeah. I'm looking for a friend of mine's cousin. I actually like Mexican guy. Like he ain't here. You? Me too. I said you was a real man. Lady, I'm a God-fearing, peace-loving man of the people. I think it's her and her sister does not have a rest Let's go. Damn, relax, baby. What? Well, she doesn't have a sister, but technically... Is her sister or cousin? Was it, it? I'm not sure if it was this one or if it was the. Uh, GTA You're thinking of somebody you know? else from GTA 3, but she's the. Uh, uh, she's the one that stabbed the guy's penis with the, the, the thing. And, Appreciate and, uh, this, that man. was somebody else from GTA 3. She. Catalina was there. So, yeah, she was so there. She's actually we'll the final film in GTA 3. Spoiler alert. Okay. And, uh, good good plan, which one first? Yeah. The 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 and speaking of chaotic relationship, there are four different robbery missions throughout this game. We'll drop this section here with Catalina. And we're taking them probably the hardest one first. This is bulletproof glass. So you can just fuck off, bitch, before I call the sheriff. What are you doing, son? Just give This one is not the one with the right card. This one is jacking a tanker. Change of plan, girl. We're taking the tanker. Hey, what you doing? Yeah. Yeah. This one is one of the hardest missions of the four. Because you have to drive the tanker to the location without damaging the rig or... Um, without the rig blowing up. Right. 
because it has a health of its own. And also, you gotta attach this darn thing to the rig in order for you to start taking it. And as soon as you do, the idiots in the gas station will try to shoot it, even though they're trying to get it back. Um, I've noticed that, at least in, in San Andreas, um, there are very few tankers that you can get your hands on, um, I ain't outside the mission, job so, some crazy bitch. when you do get your Come hands on, on one, like, enjoy the hell out of that, but, as far as this mission's concerned, um, you, you, you technically do not need to worry about the people who are chasing you. You need to keep your vehicle on the road, uh, maintain, uh, like I'm trying to do, try even though best not to turn turn the, the rig over. Um, yeah. As you see, he's trying to use a pit maneuver on the car with the rig. Like chasing him, you don't want to do that. I, I, but the rig is actually doing damage to the car. Well, yes, it will. But the problem is, as oh. you see, where you wreck, because you're focusing on what the car is doing in front of you. You are Daddy? Um, Daddy? throwing yourself off. Of Control wise, on yeah, that's because I forgot the rig doesn't make sharp turns. Yeah, it doesn't make sharp turns. So, you want to make sure well, that as long as there's something on it, anyway. If, if you're doing the uh, straightaway, and you see it, he killed himself. So, if you're on a straightaway, yes, let them get a little bit ahead of you, do a pit maneuver, spin them out. Um, that'll keep them off of you for a short distance. But as you're making turns, as you can see, where he, he has to make wide turns, you don't want to be trying to. Um, get them off of you while you're making turns because they, they're going to kill themselves by accident or on purpose or however. The or blow up their car, one of the two. Yeah, which <laughs> in, inevitably will kill themselves. So you want to make sure that you focus on how you drive because when you crash the the rig, you damage the the trailer. When they hit the trailer, you still take damage. When they're shooting at the trailer, you're taking damage. So if you for some reason take get stuck. Because you made a short turn and yeah. crashed while you're trying to fight them off with the, the rig itself. Um, while you're stuck, they're shooting at the trailer, you're taking a lot of damage. So you do, you want to take the least amount of damage possible. Yeah, and I'm trying to find a route with the shortest, with the, like the widest turns, so I can actually make it to its destination without capsizing this rig or detaching it. Because if this rig detaches, you fail the mission. Um. A good way to go because I, at last I remember they don't send reinforcements after you. So once you get rid of the first person that's chasing you, it's technically smooth sailing from there. It is because you don't get a want. You, the only way they'll have reinforcements is if you kill the guys yeah. and there's a wanted meter. So don't get out of your car and shoot at the car because if you if you shoot at the car and kill them, then you will spark a wanted meter where then you have to. Protect the lifespan of the vehicle while you're fighting off the police who do not give up. No, no matter how bad they are on this game, they don't give no. up. They will damage your vehicle and cause you to fail the mission. So, um, push the the person that's chasing you, push them aside a little bit, um, fish tail them enough to get them off of your back, but focus on maintaining um, control of your vehicle. Um, you want to make sure that, uh, like he said, that you're taking a course where you can make wide turns so that you don't have to take short turns, um, which will cause you to drop the trailer, because if you drop the trailer, you fail a mission. But you you definitely want to um, not really focus on the shortest way there, because um, there's no time limit on this. Not only that, but the shortest way is guaranteed to make this truck jackknife. Exactly. So you want to take the long way around. You want to take the long, wide way around where there's no traffic, so you don't have to worry about oncoming traffic running into your vehicle. Um, you don't have to worry about traffic moving faster than you sideswipe in your vehicle um, so that you can uh, make the necessary turns and get to the destination that you're trying to get to. That's, yeah. that's kind of the, the key point is... Um, Fishtailing the guy once he gets in front of you, so don't worry about him while he's beside you. Fishtailing him, he's the only one chasing you. Once he stops chasing you, you can literally drive all over the map. Just be careful, don't get one meter while you're playing this mission before and, you get to your destination. And don't wreck this thing too much. Remember, there is a health meter. And if you're not careful while you're trying to evade those guys, you will eventually. Oh, God. 
Sure enough, I end up accidentally brushing up against one. Thankfully, yeah. it didn't take off the health meter. It, which is one of the things that I was saying before. You, you don't want to end up in a lot of traffic. Because if you've got cars like that that's hitting your hitting your rig, hitting your trailer, and then you have oncoming traffic that's hitting the rig, impacting the trailer, um, when the vehicle takes damage, you lose life in the mission uh, for the vehicle. And once that goes to zero, you fail the mission, whether you drove well or not. So you want to make sure that uh, the least amount of damage that you can take, the better. So yeah. if, if a vehicle's beside you, you give them the right away. Uh, <coughs> being chased by someone and they just so happen to get in front of you, then you fish tail them. But don't don't try to cut them off with the rig while they're back there by the trailer because if they're going to hit the rig and the trailer that at the same me. time, then you're going to be taking it. That away. was close. You, you want to also adjust your focus. And slow down on slopes. Well, that's one of the main keys of adjusting your focus. If you adjust your focus while you're on a slope or an incline, you can um, tell whether or not there are vehicles in front of you that can cause you to crash. Whether it be first person view or side view of the vehicle, you want to be able to see what you're about to hit before you are about to hit it so that you can avoid that. Sky view, blank view, whatever you got to do. Yep. Change your focus. Um, this mission, I remember this mission, this is going to unlock a series of missions similar to this that'll help you get unnecessary cash um, later on in the game. But those missions are pretty darn hard. Well, the more you do them, the harder they get. Yeah, they, they all have the same precedent where you're going to the same location. So if you remember where this place is, yeah, you will be able to find easier ways to get to it. And However, those are side missions. Yes, they're definitely side missions. But they'll help you get more cash, which will help you get more weapons. Catalina, what have you brought me today? What is it, San Fierro? Yeah, you're going to need more money than you need more guns. Lots of never money. seen it, never saw you, never you wanna, gave you, you this You want to stack up on your cash because nice when you get to the airport, business. you're going to need about Likewise. a grand Now get out of here before the cops come snooping. If you ever want to run and some I already have that just right drop now, in. So I'm in I've already got shit to move. How the hell did you buy the landing strip already? Goodbye. I don't have the landing strip, but I already have 150 grand. Oh, yes. And I'm left out here in the middle of the desert. So don't get your feelings hurt. Don't enter missions such as this <laughs> with vehicles that you want to keep because you will lose them. Yep. Okay. Well, we're probably going to end up having to do this mission anyway when we get to San Fierro. Oh, wait, we yeah, got another Carl. phone call. Who is this? You know me. That's why you're hanging this out. is the truth. So I'm call you no, that I you oh, oh, of all the people to call me, it's the truth. Who? Okay, you can drop the act now, Our kid. Truth is calling you the police? No, Not we have that a mutual friend truth. and business partner. The truth in this we game! Oh. Who? Yeah. <laughs> have you killed any cops lately? Oh, no, no, no. Ten, ten, ten. He looked out the way known. to GTA that 4 to find the Jimmy. So I've got a room <laughs> at a motel and make sure nobody knows. Anyway. Is so what is Truth trying to get from me right now? Well, un beating this mission will unlock the Truth's mission, which the Truth has the mission where you have to get the combine tractor from him when he for him. Mm. The second person I shot in the back of the head while on the tractor. Ah, uh, yes. The combine tractor. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you in part 30 when we deal with a bunch of angry farmhands to steal a combine tractor. This is, our, that is RP-985. And this is Morpheus. See you guys next time.